The electron microscope reveals thousands of tiny pores that are created when the sawdust or rice husks added to the clay burn out in the firing process. Some pores are smaller than bacteria and trap them immediately. But larger pores still allow some bacteria to pass. The individual pores are connected by a series of fine cracks which allow the water to pass from pore to pore. The cracks are even smaller than the pores and are jagged, not smooth, providing even more obstacle CLES for the bacteria as they pass through the filter wall. It's like driving a golf ball through a chain link fence. With luck, you might be able to get the ball through the fence, sometimes. But if you'd put another fence behind the first one, it gets a lot harder. The thick wall of the filter acts like a series of fences that eventually screen out 98% of the bacteria in the water. But what about the 2% that might get through? To kill them, the entire filter is painted inside and out with a solution of colloidal silver. Silver has been used for centuries to kill pathogens through an electrostatic charge. The silver penetrates the pores and bonds with the iron oxide in the clay. It's like electrifying the chain link fence and brings the filter's bacteriological effectiveness to 99.98%. So the filter uses three mechanisms to trap and kill pathogens. The size of the pores, the fine jagged cracks between them, and the silver lining, which kills the bacteria before they can get through the wall. Providing between 1 and 3 liters of safe, clean water per hour, the ceramic filter can provide enough good tasting water for a family of 5 every day. Providing a simple, efficient, and affordable household water treatment option for the other 90%.